In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to tell if your icing has separated in its piping bag and also how to like put it back together and also how to glue a cookie back together. Um, so I packaged these on Thursday, I believe. I packaged all of them on Thursday. And I was looking at this green one and they've actually been resting or sitting in a box against one of my outside walls and it's been really cold outside so um, they don't separate as bad when they're kept in the fridge so that is my number one tip when you get your decorating kit or your icing bags pop them in the fridge if you're not going to use them right away I'm just kind of checking this one can't see any separation in that the white is really hard to tell um, but I'm still gonna kind of squeeze it around just kind of I don't know just knead it play with it um, because I'm actually going to use this white here in a little bit okay but you can see in this yellow right here um, that the icing has separated hopefully that's fairly easy for you guys to see um, it'll just kind of have a different tint to it so and like this will be more watery and down here it will be thicker because it was resting like this so um, the water or liquid tends to rises and then it gets really thick on the un underside and you can tell can you see in that tip there um, it's like separated so you're just going to work this together if there's not enough um, like empty space air pockets in the piping bag for you to really get a good um, workaround on it, you can, I'll show you in a second, you can clip the tip of the bag. And then what I do, so you can tell, like, you don't want that to come out on your cookie first. Um, I just kind of pinch the top and then work it some more. Um, if your icing feels like it's too thick when you're decorating cookies, you can just um, warm it up in your hands. And over time, as you are using the piping bag, it will loosen. Um, so just make sure if you were storing them in the fridge that you took them out plenty of time to get to room temperature and um, really warm them up with your hand. So you might need to, I'm going to see what this looks like. I see that's, that's pretty good. I would go ahead and decorate a cookie with this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to fix a broken cookie, which I truly hope this does not happen to any of your cookies, but you know, cookies are not invincible. Um, so I broke off a smaller piece and then I'm gonna show you that you can fix a bigger piece too. Um, I would, if I was actually decorating this cookie, I would, was going to use white, so I'm gonna fix it with white icing. Um, so say if you had a pumpkin break, and you are going to use, decorate it as an orange pumpkin, I would recommend using orange icing, but you're really not gonna see it. You might see it on the underside a little bit. But what I do, I'm gonna fix this little tip first. Um, squeeze a bit of icing on the edge there. And then just push that back on there and hold it for a little bit. And you'll see that some icing will squeeze up and I just kind of wipe that so it's a smooth surface. And I'm gonna flip it over. And sometimes I'll add a little extra back here. And kind of just a little extra reinforcement. Spread it around a little bit with my finger. And then you'd let, let that dry see you almost can't can't even tell that it was broken and then you do the exact exact same thing with a larger piece so spread icing across there um, a larger piece it works to do it on the 
pull them together. Wipe the excess icing off so you'll have a flat surface to decorate on. And after this um, dries for a little bit, I would, again, flip it over and give it some reinforcement on the back. And I know it's going to stick to the wax paper because you have the wet icing on the back but I would still set it like this and let it dry for a while before you decorate it. Um, just when you're going to move that, because it will be stuck to the bottom of the wax paper, be very gentle with it. And then when you're icing it and you're covering the entire surface in icing, that's gonna reinforce it even more. So that's how you will fix a broken cookie, which I really hope doesn't happen, but you never know.